Hello everyone, Dr. Robinson here for another tech tip for the day. So how do we manipulate our braille displays between UEB and computer braille? So when we're doing English, we do UEB braille and math computer braille, or just wanting to advance in our computer braille skills. So what you want to do is insert six. Now I'm using JAWS talking software. Now, the default command is Control shift d and, and anybody who was sighted, of course, can see default, JAWS tells you that. But a lot of people forget that command. So if you do, you can just Shift-Tab up. Okay, so there's always different ways to do that. But if you're sighted, you might click on it. I'm going to tell sighted people, be very careful when you're using a mouse and talking software at the same time because you can accidentally move things around and not mean to. And then the talking software is not working correctly. So really try to use the keyboard commands as you're manipulating uh, talking software. So let's go ahead and tab back down. Okay, we want to adjust the Braille settings. Visually, you're already going to see a huge tree view. That's what this is called, a huge tree view of items. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and just type in Braille. And you can just down arrow right to it. Okay, beautiful. And you can easily move through this. Now, there are different ways to do the following, but I like F6. F6 always jumps window panes, so I'm going to jump F, jump over. Okay, I want to jump right down to Braille Mode Structured uh, because I've seen people accidentally change this based on what they think it is, and typically it is beginner users. I want to tell you, please keep that on Structured. It will work better. The next item is going to be active cursor follows braille display. So if you're new and you want to actually see where the child is reading, have that selected. And then when you have a Word document open, you can actually see the cursor uh, based on where the child is reading. Uh, and then make sure you uncheck braille cursor follows active cursor. If you have a braille display that is Bluetooth, make sure your auto detect braille display using Bluetooth is checked. But where we want to go is output and once again use your keyboard command so you don't accidentally change it. Okay. And typically the default you want to go ahead and have US English grade 2 because we have more English items than we do have math items. Now you could hit C for computer braille right there for input right off the bat, but most children do not know computer braille yet. They learn that as they move along, and typically US uh, UEB braille right off the bat is what you want to use. And so, oh, you know what I just noticed? Uh -huh. There we go. So we need to go down to UEB braille. So output UEB braille, and then go ahead and change the input for that also, okay? And then just apply it, Alt-A. Now, here is the trick. Make sure you hit Enter and Close. Okay, so when, and it's actually a huge toggle. So G.7 and chord, anytime you hear the word chord, that means use the space bar. So you're gonna hit the letter G.7, which is to the left of the space bar, and space bar together, and you're literally going to move through all your options. And it will cycle through uh, in between computer braille, output and input, and contracted braille, whichever you select in JAWS setting center, and output computer braille input and contracted braille output input. So you just need to get comfortable with hitting G.7 and space and cycling through the option that you need based on the subject matter that you are working in or have the child working in. Okay, so that is the braille trick for the day. And what I highly suggest is go ahead and grab those cheat sheets so you can actually look at them to help your student know what code they are in. And my guess is probably most kids will get it pretty fast. They know they've been learning the UEB code. So when it changes, they're gonna say, hey, this looks funny. Um, and then of course, we need to go ahead and keep teaching them the correct code in whatever they're in. Okay, that is the tech tip for the day on your Braille displays and your settings center. And I hope that helped. Talk to you later.